This is friction 6 and in this video we are going to talk about two bodies connected by an inextensible strange thing. Alright, let's quickly move in to the, uh, to the work. Okay? In this case, um, the body is not moving or the body is about to move with an acceleration. Okay? So, T must equal to... Um, T minus mg sin theta minus mu m1 g cos theta. Okay? It's equal to m1a. So this T will equal to m1a plus m1g sin theta plus mu m1g cos theta m1g cos theta so in this case m1a plus m1g sin theta plus mu m1g cos theta okay let's come back to this body t is equal to if for this body of course the body is accelerating downward. We have assumed that M2 is greater than M1. We have assumed that M2 is greater than M1. And as a result of that, we assume that the body is accelerating downward. If that is the case, we take M2G first. So we have M2G minus T is equal to M2A. So from here now, T is equal to M2G minus M2A. Let me call this equation 1 and let me call this equation 2. Since we have both there to be T, since we have T here, T here, T here, we can equate the two formulas. So we have M1A, huh? so this one will come here m2a when we equate them so this one will come here this one will be here every other thing will be here so we have m2g minus m1 g sine theta minus mu m1 g cos theta so a from here is equal to m2 minus m1 sin theta minus mu m1 cos theta all into g over m1 plus m2 so this is the acceleration with which the two bodies will move all together in this direction okay there are some things here that we have to take a look at in your exam especially uh, your jump exam we normally have a question like this but you will be told that the surface is smooth or there is no friction if there is no friction if there is no friction then use a um absence of friction use a is equal to m2 minus m1 sine theta minus if this is zero everything here will be zero so i have g into m1 plus m2 is that taken all right now let us impute some values let us impute some values assuming your jump exam m2 is equal to 3 kg um and M1, M1 is equal to 2 kg. Be expecting the acceleration downward like this. And your acceleration will be given by 3 minus 2 sine, let's say the angle here is 30 degree. Sine 30 is a 1 over 2. If the angle I'm using is 30 degree, don't forget though. So over m1 plus m2 which is 5 all into bracket g and um, we are going to have 2 over 5 multiplied by g is always 
10 meter per second square otherwise eh? unless otherwise so i have 10 5 m and 5 m 2 the body accelerates by 4 meter per second square okay let me recollect now let me recollect the formula for you it is very easy very very easy to recollect always start from here a is equal to m2 minus m1 sine theta minus mu m1 cos theta over m1 plus m2 all into bracket g supposing this body is not given like this if it is given like this class uh, if it is given like this please look here if it is given like this if it is given like this we see that uh, and if this is m2 and this is m1 and this is m1 this is m2 and this is m1 in the absence of friction again remember this time around there is no any angle you put your theta to be zero and you put your mu to be zero so a is equal to m2 minus m1 sine zero everything here is zero already because mu is zero there is no friction so over m1 plus m2 all into bracket g so i have a is equal to m2 minus <coughs> zero because sine zero is zero so i have m2 g over m1 plus m2 let us also impute some value again if my m3 is 3 so i will have 3 times 10 over 5 and that will give me 6 meter per second square to be my acceleration it means it is very easy to accelerate the two bodies here than when the bodies are uh, when one body is uh, on an inclined plane so again this video is from tutorpedia tutorial center we are located at Agbowo, and um, I want to implore you and begging you, please, always remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video.